In the world of gurus on the internet, both fitness gurus and financial gurus, there are a lot of scams, and I think it's very important to look out for them. The 2024 spectrum of internet craziness goes from literally murder to basic Instagram posts from weirdos, and it could get deep and deep and deeper, especially when we're talking about people making their livelihood from social media. We've talked about several different content creators, Wes Watson being one of the most recent, who are generally running a scam and making thousands of dollars off of people who just don't know better and hopefully watching videos like this as well as many others on YouTube is giving some insight into why these people might be not worth doing business with. Today we're going to be talking about high ticket coaching sales and more specifically female high ticket coaching sales. Now there's a lot of males out there and to be honest they get caught more doing this stuff than females do. Why you might ask? Well it's quite simple. 95% of the demographic watching these kind of YouTube videos is male. Even more so, the copulation that is simply <laughs> copulation, literally, that is buying coaching programs is majoritively male as well. The entrepreneurship is definitely a male ingrained type thing. And so we're catching more of those guys do it because we're more relevantly involved in that area. But females are in a weird gray area because it is a male dominated space. When a female comes up and offers some high ticket coaching, it's a unique thing. And in fact, a lot of women gravitate towards it because they don't have much other outlets in this space. Today we're going to be focusing on one of those females called Melanie Ann Layer and her brand Alpha Femme. Oh, I wish I was making that up. For those of you who are unfamiliar, Melanie made her big movement in process of getting social media famous, I guess, on social media by talking about this Alpha Femme movement and essentially what this is is to be an alpha male, to be the she. It's like her whole marketing thing. And it stands for a really good premise, empowering entrepreneurial women to be successful, make a lot of money, and be less dependent on men, which great. I think that's awesome. Hey, I'll be honest with you guys. I like making money, but <laughs> if I had a girl who was the money maker, I would have zero problems being the stay at home dad. No problems at all. It'd be a dream. So the more the merrier in my book, I would love that to be a possibility. But you see, unfortunately, her content isn't necessarily all sunshine and roses. In fact, it's quite disturbing what can actually come of it when we look at the significant amount of people talking about it on Reddit in other spaces. Now, Melody built her brand on coaching females to have successful businesses, claiming that she made $80 million in four years. Her company claims that essentially she can help those clients manifest millions of dollars. I love that term. Literally, quote unquote, manifest millions of dollars. And the Alpha Femme promotes, or at least the idea promotes, transforming women into empowered alpha women. <laughs> I'm not laughing at women. I'm just laughing. This is a real marketing thing. This is actually marketing. But what exactly are you paying for when you enter the alpha fuck i can't even that just sounds so ridiculous i don't know who she was talking to is like that's gonna be a really great idea because it is not a good idea but what do you get when you join the alpha femme movement well a lot of weird stuff apparently you can register for this program and talk i mean she talks about it a lot right this is her whole thing uh when she wears her crown it isn't superficial display of power it's quite a declaration of self-mastery her grace lies in her ability to hold responsibility for her vision, her emotions, and her evolution. She leads with the strength that commands without force and this poise that invites respect without ever having to demand it. Keen. Very interesting indeed. You'll constantly see she everywhere. She, 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 she. It's just everywhere. But what's interesting is we have a six-day live program where you can register for $1,111 or simple easy payments of $288, which gives you lifetime access. She doesn't really talk about what's included, but just more of the marketing spiel of she talking about her journey, forging these teachings, and ultimately being a passionate person on making her clients develop emotional intelligence and power and energetic alignment. And her Instagram is no different talking about the same thing, the same branding, the same everything. I mean, it's just plastered everywhere all over her social media. And essentially, she is a business mentor. She's trying to mentor people to be successful with their businesses which I've talked about before on this channel. They can be good. I've spent lots of tens of thousands of dollars on a business mentor. Was it worth it? Not really. But I can understand where it could be worth it for someone who has zero experience with starting their own business. However, there is a lot of really, really sketchy business mentors.
Rivers. We talked about Wes Watson basically just humiliating the clients that he has, telling them that they're basically shitbags and assholes, whilst they're taking thousands of dollars per day, per month, per call for these same people to get humiliated. But you see, Melanie is just a female version of a Wes Watson. We're just going to take a look at a couple posts that provide some context to different testimonials that people have said. And again, the reason I'm covering this, which you might not enjoy, but I think it's critically important, is that a lot of people fall for this. Thankfully, men are a big part of the internet, to be honest. And again, 95 to 98% of my audience is male and they watch these videos. So I know for a matter of fact that really there's not much awareness into the exposing being done of these simple gurus like we can see in a male group, right? These females are buying this product or several products for thousands and thousands of dollars. And here's what they genuinely have to say, which I think is a, there's nobody talking about this, right? And this is a person just genuinely scamming her clients. Now, our first testimonial comes from a user who felt such an emotional impact after working with Alpha Femme that she sought out therapy to cope with the feelings of being manipulated, talked down to, feelings of betrayal and overall guilt. This person describes themselves as a positive minded businesswoman, someone taking personal responsibility for their decisions. Yet after joining Alpha Femme, she felt as if it was an awful investment and that the whole time she was just being spoken down to. Commenting, I always want to take responsibility for my purchases, but where I feel tripped up is what if the entire experience was not as expected. Now, despite her usual optimism, this user found herself doubting everything. Did she fall for false advertising or was she just projecting different sort of expectations on the program that weren't necessarily reality? In any vein, a high ticket program where you're spending multi thousands of dollars to get some form of advice, shouldn't it be something where you're feeling talked down to at all? Oh, it was something has calories, you fucking idiot. There, there's calories and protein. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? Okay. Uh, sir, you, are you brain dead? Wes, just wanted to uh, hop on here real quick and thank you for everything. I know you don't got a lot of time, but. If you're not asking a does. question, I'm going to fucking kill you. I told you I was on motherfucking time. Are you going to ask a question or are you just saying thank you? Because you could fucking text me that motherfucker. I would argue that your main prerogative as a coach is to embrace somebody, to build their spirits, to build their confidence. However, that is going to be done. It has to be done. And despite males not really being as emotional, meaning that they might respond better to a harder style or a heavy hand of coaching, females definitely need more emotional. They are emotionally intelligent where men are generally not. But it goes on. Another Redditor says this, I recognize that I'm responsible for my own success, but I also believe that marketers have a responsibility to be clear and upfront about what they're offering. The user faced a similar emotional fallout, but wanted to be clear in their distinction. They felt responsible for their choice. They couldn't ignore what they called false personalization. Essentially, this is when a coach or person in sales flatters you to make the program or whatever it is feel extremely personalized. It makes you feel unique in their for having some sort of it's like a, a really good thing in, in a restaurant when a waiter gives you some sort of free side dish right and you feel beholden to that person because they did something nice to you and so you write them a nice check for a tip this is exactly what a lot of sales tactics are in this case the user felt terribly misled completely uncomfortable and pressured to spend more and more money with alpha femme they felt manipulated and very insecure about how things were handled we continue to go down this rabbit hole one of the biggest criticisms of Melanie Ann Lair, the Alpha Femme CEO, is her grandiose income claims, specifically that her brand generated $80 million since 2020. According to this specific Reddit user, Melanie has been on a spree of deleting videos where she's making claims, uh, sparkling speculation among her critics, saying that, yeah, she's a multimillionaire and she did it almost instantaneously. Again, something we see in many gurus trying to sell what they have, with this one saying, I'm really supposed to believe that Melanie Ann Layer has made 17 to 18 million a year since 2020. She continues to argue that such a bold claim may be a tactic to lure potential clients into a dream without any substantial proof. And if Melanie is actively deleting content related to these claims, it's definitely going to raise some questions. Are these truly inflated numbers or just something that's more behind the scenes and that isn't really meant to be public? Well, I would argue that it's definitely inflated numbers. The person just doesn't 
go from making a hundred thousand dollars a year to multi millions of dollars a year from what becoming a guru suddenly because in 2020 she became a guru and what i think is so funny is that these people will often start a coaching business of some form not necessarily fitness coaching here but like business coaching and then rise to popularity and have nice cars and nice things because of the skimming business that they started it with and in reality when they actually started doing this thing whatever it is they weren't actually successful in the first fucking place you see this so much with coaching gurus and it is absolutely gut-wrenching to know that there's thousands of people every single day falling for this bullshit this absolute slop of marketing i mean i showed you the website it has nothing to do with any sort of substantial evidence to her claims it has nothing to do with any sort of positive testimonials it is all just she and power of the femme and all of this bullshit that doesn't make anybody money but we continue to go even further in another post we see a reoccurring theme disappointment this user expected alpha femme to deliver transformative business insights and consultation uh, but was left feeling like they wasted money despite having spent money in specifically other mentors before she felt that this specific program was lacking material massively and there was little actionable value instead what it was was just a girl sitting in front of a camera telling you how to make money her way she says i've invested a lot of money in other mentors and this one was a waste this is a massive high ticket offer that's leaving people feeling empty handed. And what is there to be done about it? Nothing, because these people's voices get shunted in the space of the internet. She keeps posting really great and marketable content that is based around females empowering themselves for some reason. And it works because females don't have business coaches openly in the space. Another testimonial comes from a seasoned business owner who joined Alpha Femme expecting a boost in what they thought would be their income, but instead they saw a decrease decline in their overall earnings, an increased amount of client complaints, and felt overwhelmingly left vague within the program. She felt like there was no direction, ineffective guidance, and overall, it was just a do-as-I-do kind of program. They also mentioned that Alpha Femmes focus on making extremely grand claims and superficial branding could also be part of the issue here, because it captures a lot of naive people, and they pay a lot of money to get a magic pill, the red pill, the thing that's going to take them out of the matrix and put them into the real world. This is the female edition. In this individual's case, she said, after leaving the brand's guidance, my business started to grow again. This user obviously felt disappointed, but professionally got harmed from the advice that they received, leading them to question the program's legitimacy. So Melanie goes on to present a very polished business, a very high energy state where she's talking about all these things that get her super fired up. If you look at her YouTube, she is very interesting. Her eyebrows are about three inches above her actual eyes, which is just really interesting as well, not to be rude. You need to leave. Look at, I'm not, guys, guys, calm down. I can make comments about people and it's not the end of the world, okay, comment section? Calm down. Oh Take one big breath in. <sighs> big breath out. The comment didn't affect you. It's okay. All right. We go on and uh, I, I just don't think she's a real person. <laughs> it's a fabricated life, much like Wes Watson's. She's been losing clients left and right. And this is just the tip of it. I have not even gone into the depths of the client reports because it's just not worth it. But if you just Google alpha femme scam, everything that comes up is basically being scammed for your money. I mean, every single Reddit post since 2020 talks about literally being scammed for money, like 5000 $555. And it's no different. I mean, no different than the alpha male grift. Her business is literally labeled alpha femme. I mean, you couldn't make this stuff up if it was it, if it wasn't a real story. So here's my advice to you, male or female or uh, it's or they or whatever. You should not buy into business coaching. I think mentorship is a very different thing. Having someone walk you through what they did, showing you step by step personally, not just giving you like a PDF or a pre recorded video, but truly showing you step by step what they did is a very valuable thing and something that could be a massive asset for people who are looking to get into business. But paying for a course that's just been commoditized and trying to push it out to the most amount of people possible for the highest ticket price is not going to be what you need. But most of the time, real talk, it's just going to be nasty, disgusting hard work. You know, if you just sit by yourself and think alone without the phone or social media or music or anything, if you just sit in a room like I do here all day, this room is like as wide as my 
my hands, by the way, and as long as my hands. Like, this is literally the size of the room. It's a closet. It's actually a fucking closet, right? And you just sit in a room. And you just think to yourself, how can I solve my problems? What do I need to do? Oftentimes, those solutions will come to you because you know yourself better than anybody else. And the fact of the matter is, is that you might not have those experiences that the other person has, but that's a good thing because it makes your story yours and you are only going to find the solutions to your problems. Another person looking in might be able to provide advice. That's all it is. And paying someone $5,555 for advice or $1,111. What's with her repeating these numbers, by the way? Jesus Christ. It's not going to find you the solution that you've been looking for your entire life. It won't piece together something you've missed. I've worked with every fucking coaching company out there. I mean, I will tell you honestly, it is not worth it. I've spent $36,000 on one. I spent $12,000 on another one. Just a complete waste of time. Now, if I want to learn something, like for example, I wanted to learn how to run ads. I hired someone to give me a mentorship through that, aka walk me through how they publish ads, walk me through how they create demographics and so on and so forth. It wasn't just a pre-recorded course where someone is like, watch these videos, pay me $5,000 and I'll talk to you later. It was here, meet me on this day on Zoom, we'll screen record, I'll show you how I publish my ads and what I do. Cool. I learned so much information, took that home with me and actually applied it. But this shit is just slop. It is the typical grift of the alpha male, femme, whatever you want to call it, where these people are just scamming on young or men or women and ultimately just ruining their lives. They're ruining their lives for the fun of it. So that's what it is. Um, <laughs> Why are you me? I'm recording a video. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're beautiful. I'm I'm actually recording a video, so I'm gonna I'm gonna call you back in three seconds. Hold on. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe down below. I uh will catch you in the next one, my friends.